India has the second fastest growing digital economy in the world. By 2025, India will have 850 million smartphone users and 200 million smart TVs, collectively consuming more than five hours of video data per device per day. India is increasingly becoming digital, shifting rapidly to web collaboration, e-commerce and e-payments. Emerging technologies like artificial intelligence, machine learning, IoT, robotics, and the emergence of 5G are going to extend the usage of the Internet to billions of devices. India is also witnessing a shift of enterprise workloads from their captive data centers to public clouds or hosted private clouds due to the pay-as-you-use models and enormous scalability they offer. Enterprises and the government of India are now focusing more than ever before on self-reliance in their supply chains within the country, also leading to more data localization. All these trends are leading to the data explosion in India. To store and process this ever-increasing data growth and centralized cloud workloads, India needs large-scale data center parks instead of standalone data center buildings. These data center parks need to be scalable in terms of space, power, internet connectivity, support services, and a wide array of innovative value-added IT services. Yota, India's youngest managed data center service provider, is building data center parks in Navi, Mumbai, Chennai, Greater Noida near New Delhi, and has upcoming projects in Mumbai, Pune, Kolkata, and Gift City in Gujarat. Yota is backed by India's leading real estate, energy, and construction major, the Hiranandani Group. What makes Yota unique is its ownership of resources, massive economies of scale, captive energy generation and distribution, unmatched expertise and experience in data center design, construction, and operations. Yota NM1 is Asia's largest and the world's second largest Uptime Institute Tier 4 Design Certified Data Center facility that is spread across 820,000 square feet with a capacity of 7,200 racks, 50 megawatt power, and four fiber paths. It is located at Yota Data Center Park within the 600-acre Hiranandani Fortune City campus in Panvel, a peaceful locality away from the hustle and bustle of the city with no history of natural or human-made disasters. The future hub of economic growth in Greater Mumbai region between Mumbai Pune Expressway and Old Mumbai Pune Highway, it is well connected to various business districts of Greater Mumbai and Pune. The upcoming Navi Mumbai Airport, Trans Harbor Sea Link and Railway Station are coming right next to the campus. This will make it more accessible for enterprises. Yota also offers its shuttle bus services from the nearest railway station throughout the day for its customers and employees. Yota NM1 is a ground plus 14 story building. Even numbered floors are dedicated server halls and odd numbered floors are dedicated UPS and battery rooms. The ground floor includes in-building substation, dedicated cargo handling area, scissor lifts, cargo elevators, storage rooms, and a podium with visitor reception along with meeting rooms. The building has an entire floor dedicated to customer seating. The terrace of the building has chillers installed on an elevated platform and chilled water distribution plant below the platform. The backup diesel generators are placed outside the building on an elevated platform with underground fuel tanks adjacent to the same. The six dedicated server hall floors have a load-bearing capacity of 1,500 kilograms per square meter and can house server racks of various sizes up to 52U. Racks are arranged in a hot aisle, cold aisle configuration with cold aisle containment. Yota NM1 is as secure as a fort with multiple layers of security before you can access your server rack. Campus entrance, data center park entrance, barbed fenced walls with more than 500 surveillance cameras, Yota NM1 gate, visitor passes are issued online and further screened at entry, vehicle holding area with boom barrier restricting free access, all incoming vehicles are scanned. The driver, along with the vehicle registration detail, is photographed. Explosive and narcotics detection. Baggage scanning and manual frisking. A visitor pass with access card is issued for live location tracking. Access controlled turnstile barriers. Frisking at server hall floors. Man trap to avoid tailgating. Biometric authentication. Cage and rack level security. 
Yoda NM1 receives power at 110 kilovolt from two upstream transmission substations and has a dedicated 110 by 33 substation and 33 by 11 substation right adjacent to the facility. Four numbers of 11 kilovolt lines in N plus N mode, each carrying 12.5 megawatt, supplies power to Yota NM1. Our affiliate company manages the power distribution operations with a distribution license. Soon, Yota NM1 will be powered by a captive 40 megawatt solar power plant and a captive 50 megawatt gas-based cogeneration power plant adjacent to our data center park. The 11 kilovolt power terminating at N plus N redundant HT panels in the building is stepped down by an array of 32 transformers and through panels and bus ducts. The power is carried to the UPSs, stationed on the various UPS floors, through redundant riser ducts on two opposite sides of the building. For each server hall floor, there are 6.4 megawatt equivalent UPSs with N plus N redundancy backed by lithium-ion battery banks with the two ends of the UPSs and batteries in separate rooms. These UPSs supply power to PDUs. Two separate PDUs getting power from two different UPSs supply N plus N power through industrial type sockets and power cables to the racks. The utility feeder is backed up by an array of 32 diesel generator sets, each of 2.25 megawatt in N plus 2 configuration that supplies continuous backup power to the data center through an array of specially designed fire and water resistant bus ducts. The diesel generator sets are backed by 600,000 liters of diesel fuel stored in underground tanks, ensuring 48 hours of uninterrupted operations at full load. Precision air handling units with redundant coils and UPS-powered fans maintain precise cooling and humidity in the server halls. Redundant coils of precision air handling units get chilled water through N plus N redundant supply lines and dispose of the hot water through N plus N return lines. 34 chillers of 400 ton capacity each supply chilled water to the precision air handling units via dual supply and return header system. In case of a temporary chiller outage due to changeover in power source from the main feeder to diesel generator and vice versa, the thermal storage tanks continue to supply chilled water through UPS-powered pumps to the precision air handling units, thus ensuring uninterrupted cooling to server halls at all times. A state-of-the-art, feature-rich and redundant building management system, or BMS, monitors Yota NM1. Thousands of parameters from every single utility device, including transformers, diesel generator sets, fuel capacity, HT panels, cooling and power are monitored by the BMS. Select customers can request for remote BMS logins to monitor their setup in real time. Yota NM1 is equipped with addressable fire detection and suppression system that can intelligently detect the exact point of fire. The fire detection system is also integrated with our access control system. In case of a fire, the access control system automatically opens the doors of the affected adjacent areas for quick evacuation. Cargo material enters the data center building through a dedicated cargo gate. It gets unloaded at any of the three scissor lifts. Every equipment entering or leaving Yota NM1 is tracked by using RFID tags. Through movable stackers, the material can either be shifted to the storage area on the same floor or can be taken to the server hall floors through the cargo elevators, which lands directly on the raised platform level, thus ensuring the equipment does not tilt in the entire journey. This system helps our customers in auditing their assets in a matter of minutes instead of months. Yota NM1 is extremely well connected to the rest of the world through four captive and redundant telecom paths. All leading telecom operators have brought their fibers from these paths to the data center. These fiber cables rise on two sides of the building in independent conduits and terminate in redundant Meet Me Rooms, MMR, on two sides of the server hall floors. From Meet Me Rooms, we provide copper and fiber cross-connects to the customer racks through an array of redundant cable trays. As a Class A ISP licensee, Yota also provides bulk internet connectivity to its hosted customers. Yota NM1 provides a highly secure and enclosed seating module with individual access control for every customer. All facilities like conference rooms, telephone, internet, parking, and cafeteria are available to customers. Customers can avail both short-term and long-term stay facilities and service apartments located within the campus for managing their hosted application or during times of urgent deployments. 
With our long list of certifications, which continues to grow, customers are assured of all the necessary compliance and best practices. Yoda provides both hyperscale co-location for wholesale customers and fully managed Yoda tech services for enterprise customers. Under co-location, we offer full floors, suites, cages, and individual racks with varying power densities and fit-out options as per customer requirements. For hyperscale customers, we offer dedicated, customized buildings on co-location model and interconnect their floors and buildings through redundant fibers. Under Yoda Tech, we offer a wide variety of innovative enterprise IT solutions on a pay-as-you-use model. At Yota, we strive to deliver unmatched scalability, quality, innovation, and economies of scale by leveraging our real estate expertise, power distribution capabilities, data center design, connectivity solutions, and deep domain expertise in managed IT services. We aim to deliver value that's backed by innovation, partnerships, and trust, so that our customers get peace of mind, assurance, and above all, happiness.